welcome back to my channel myself monica marasini and today we will be learning about aconite poisoning in two minutes so okay whatever i will be telling here you will be learning that in two minutes and after that you can make as many lengthy note about it in your exam as you want okay so now let's get started I have made a very easy mnemonic for the aconite poisoning which is A C O N I T E. Yes, a mnemonic is the topic itself that is aconite. So A will stands for the cause of death in aconite poisoning which is azemia and ventricular azemia and acetol. Next important thing is it is the very common cause of accidental poisoning because its root resembles with the horse radish root. Okay and the third point that is also important to know it is an arrow poison so arrhythmia accidental poisoning arrow poison a will stands for three years c there is it is a cardiotoxic okay and it will cause hypotension bradycardia cardiac rhythm disturbances o stands for no specific antidote and kmno4 is used for decontamination okay with gastric lavas is doing with the help of kmno4 and it stands for there is no loss of consciousness and most important is the mechanism of action of aconite that is sodium channels and a stands for sodium channel so it binds to voltage sensitive sodium channels of myocardium knobs and vessels causing constant activation of sodium channel and third important is neurotoxic so no loss of consciousness sodium channels neurotoxic i stands for ideal homicidal poison so it is an ideal homicidal poison and then about ideal homicidal poison whatever the features you have learned you can write it here okay the 10 features of ideal homicidal poison after that gi features are here also so nausea vomiting diarrhea and pain abdomen t stands for tingling followed by numerous warning sensation of mouth lips tongue and throat and e stands for extra okay extra features which is hippus pupil 3 to 6 mg is the fatal dose and xanopsia okay so these are the features and you will easily if you even look at this for two three times you can easily remember in your exam you don't have to mock it up you just like revise it in a regular interval so i hope that you liked it okay please do like share and subscribe to my channel and um, thank you so much for watching this video